like and I said, tis the season of dressing up. And these festive pieces from et al. will have you looking fly. Owner, Diane Fontaine now joins me. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, I said I want one of everything, mm -hmm. and including the clothing. But before we get even further, any further than what we have here, tell me the inspiration behind you getting involved with designing these pieces. So I've been doing jewelry for, so, I mean, I guess maybe about seven years now. I started operating jewelry as a mobile jewelry store. So mm -hmm. I'd go to offices, people's offices and sell jewelry by appointment. And then, and then that expanded into having a small jewelry business, which was kind of exclusive mm -hmm. um, and had sort of like a select clientele. And I was running it out of the basement of my house. So not, you know, convenient in terms of making like, you know, yeah. large. Understood. Uh, yeah. So I moved to, um, to Africa. So I've lived in... <gasps> Uganda for three years and then in Nigeria for three years. So I've always been sort of, there's an Afrocentric influence that I've always had. So um, being in the continent, on the continent, I guess, and living in Uganda and then in Nigeria, it was kind of easy to make the transition mm -hmm. from not just jewelry to Clothing then as well. fashion. Nigerians are extraordinarily fashionable. I the know. prints there are crazy. So um, yeah, it was an easy. It just made yeah, it just made sense. Well, I know with this cyclic revolution that we have, where everyone is finding themselves and becoming more and more Afrocentric. For those of us who have African heritage, I, I noticed that the fashion is leaning towards that way. Even mainstream fashion is actually mm -hmm. going towards that kind of print and that kind of Afrocentric behavior. And I, I like to see the pieces, but how do you pair a piece with another piece? What what goes through your head when you decide okay this goes with this piece of jewelry how do you do so that? i think it's an it's an organic thing i think what works for one person may not work for someone else typically if they're bright prints you know really showy prints you want something that's simple because mm -hmm. you you want to show the print right yeah. um if it's if it's less and you want to kind of focus on the jewelry i think um, a lot of times i try not to do like statement pieces with a, a statement certain, dress yes, you want a exactly. simple dress with a statement exactly. piece or vice versa exactly tell me a little bit about the jewelry are these handmade pieces are any of these that you make by hand so i don't make so the clothing i make not myself mm -hmm. but i have people that work with me so this piece for instance this is an endebele uh neck piece um and an endebele um hand piece cuff, as well yeah, yeah a cuff um, and those are from South Africa. Wow. So, I mean, and that's, uh, you know, um, an Endebele is a tribe in South Africa. Yes. So, I mean, yeah. And that's pretty pretty cool. And uh, it's been, I think it's gotten mainstream as well. So yes, there's lots of people of wearing the, the mm -hmm. neck piece. And then these two pieces are from Ghana. I mean, it takes... <laughs> It takes weeks for her to, to actually it? beat, yeah, because they're hand, hand they're beaded by hand, yeah. All of these? Yep. Oh my gosh. And then she uses uh, different kinds of Ankara prints. Yes. To, yeah. Yes. Um, so that's fabric mm -hmm. and, that, and then that's beaded. So this is stitched? Yeah. And wow, wow. That must take a very long time. Right. And what about these? Like the, in, these are individually beaded as yeah, well? Yeah, these are also individually oh beaded. This God. is South African as well. Um, also individually beaded. I have to order these well in advance as well because again, um, these are handmade. Wow. So everything is, is pretty much, you know, um, made by hand. Great. So you're not going to go out and see everybody in these no, pieces. No. That's I mean, for no, sure. No. And what I try to do is because I understand that as a woman, I don't like to wear things and, and go out and see someone it. else in it. So I tend to, which works sometimes but doesn't, um, to have just individual unique pieces, just one of a kind. Yeah. So if someone buys from me, then they're not going to see it elsewhere. Right. Um, and that sometimes works, uh, sometimes doesn't. Sometimes then, it yeah, backfires. People are just like, well, I want, I want that, that one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, well, no, you can't have it. Go and be unique. All right, we have some models here today to show some of your sure. fashion pieces. So let's start and bring our first model out. Okay, so that's Kim. She's uh, wearing a maxi dress, um, mm -hmm. silver cuff with a silver Fantastic. fan uh, neck piece. I love it. Um, that print is from Nigeria uh, and um, it's, it's really fashionable. It can be worn certainly. Um, yes, a day party, a beach party. You can dress it up with heels and go out and look more elegant. You can dress it down and put on your bridges or some flat slippers and you go about your business. This there is amazing. Go. I love it. So I said I wanted this one. So that's one. Yep. But that one might not fit me though. But well, we have <laughs> different sizes, different prints. So I and try not to, yeah, but different sizes. So different you have sizes. from the smallest to the largest, yes. the most curvy woman. Yes. That's I amazing. All women. Let's have our next model out. Please come right up. 
Yes, and this was the other one I said I needed a piece of. All Head right. to toe, I need the jewelry, I need the jewelry. All right, and this is Rebecca. And Rebecca, this is just a very easy, very simple, uh, you know, kind of like a, it's a little dress. And where does, where, um, where off the shoulder this come from? This print is from Ghana. Um, so, you know, really easy. Um, you know, summer wear. Flirty and Yeah, very. And you know, in Jamaica, summer all around. Yes. We don't need an excuse to wear a fun, flirty dress. Thank you so much. And our next model is coming out in something a little different. And that's Daniel Lee. Um, and uh, this print is really, really fantastic. I love it. Um, it's an Ankara print, but it's, it's sort of a little, the fabric is a little different than the typical Ankara in terms of the texture. Yeah. Um, it looks almost a little shiny. Yes. Yeah, a little glossy. Yeah. That's so, nice. really, really nice as well. Um, that can be worn for yeah. evening events. Of can be worn. You can, if you have good legs, you can wrap that anywhere. All right. <laughs> All right. And our next model. All right. What All right. We call so, this, this is test. This a is poncho just a poncho. Top. Yep. Okay, there we go. All right. So, this is just a poncho. And easy wear. You can wear it with jeans. You can wear it with tights. Uh -huh. you, can, um, you can actually belt it. Yeah. Um, you, you can, can put the belt inside from the back. Um, Cute. And work inside. Um, so yeah, multiple ways yes. to wear it. Very, Love very that. easy. This asymmetric thing is really working for people these days. It, Everybody it really is. Like, Please come on up. Please don't let us stop you. All right. All Next right. is no, Chelsea. Love this. All right. Chelsea mm. will be waving her hands because you will be able to see Ooh. that this has a butterfly sort of um, sleeve effect. Yes. Yes. Um, yes. Really, really nice. Meloy kids. Also Nigerian um, in terms of the print. And this again can be dressed up and dressed down because if you have a skirt that's just as wide as that, and it's so nice. I love that. Yeah. And the jewelry, all of the jewelry that is, and the accessories that are being worn by the models are your you pieces. You can absolutely get them from Etal. Wonderful. Um, yep, they're all Etal pieces. And we have we have another piece. Come on yep. out. Once you're ready, uh, it's let's Kim go. again. Um, and this is, this is an African print as well? This is an African print. Um, and... Uh, Kim, it, it should be belted, so um, typically Kim can wear it with a belt or not. Um, it's so funny, I almost thought that I could actually just wrap this to work, you know, this is very business chic. And this is the thing about um, prints, and this is the thing also about just African fabrics. I mean, there are, you know, there are different kinds, Yeah. Um, not always just, um, just prints, so yeah, amazing texture. That's very nice. Yeah. Yeah, man, that can go on work and then take off the belt and put on a nice strappy sandals and rock it out yep. as well afterwards. So that, that's really nice. In terms of contacting you, how do I get these pieces? Because, I mean, and, and all right, first of all, before we know the question, everybody out there wants to know the same question me want to know. What is the price range? So, so jewelry starts from $1,000 and goes up. Um, you know, clothing, if you're getting a shorts, I, I sold a shorts yesterday for $700. Stop your foolishness. Um, I mean, true. certainly it goes it's up. It's not true. <laughs> It's not true. All right, it's true, true. Yes. And with Christmas coming up, there's going to be a launch, I heard. Absolutely. So the launch is next week, Saturday. And we're opening our new store at a, or very new location outside of my basement into a real Fantastic. actual store. Fantastic. I'm so Which is at 9 to 11 um, Phoenix Avenue. And it's shop number six. And it's Etal store. If you uh, come there, you'll absolutely see us. Please, ladies, come on out and let's take a look at you all in these wonderful cut. All right. So we, see where you are now. Yes, man. Wonderful. Ooh, la la. Yes. We're running out. Oh, gee whiz. It, it gets better. It gets better. And even though we're running out of time, we can take a glimpse at these wonderful. We have maxi dresses. We have belted dresses. We have jumpsuits. And everything is wonderful. And from nothing for you, Dwayne. Please start putting up your hand. What, do you have any plans to make any clothing for male? Yes, I do. In dun, fact, dun, dun. <laughs> here you go. <laughs> The Etal um, the milk, the male line will be launched in February of next year. So that? Um, there will be clothing for men. Duane is offering, offering to be. And there are some, there, there are already some dashiki um, men's pieces. Yeah, pieces so. Okay, in terms of social media, how do we follow you? How do you find you? So you can follow me on, on Instagram. It's Etal Store, E T A L S T O R E. Um, there's a website as well, www.etalstore.com, which you can order from directly if you um, are unable to visit us at the Kingston location. Fantastic. All right, guys, you've seen it, you heard it. She's going to be on Phoenix Avenue as of the 9th of December. If you want these pieces, if you need these pieces, go get her. Owner of Et Al, Diane Fontaine. Thank you so much for stopping by. Dwayne, did you get my list? Because this is Christmas for me right here, you know. My ears ain't not buying nothing. So, watch it, my hide. <laughs> Thank you so much for 
stopping by, ladies. You look absolutely gorgeous. All right, we're whipping up an amazing eggnog after this. Stick her up. All right, I was looking to see if I could. Yes. What's that? I don't know. I woman. I have it. My woman. I go be by you anything. My woman. I'm not the